What is up, everybody? We are back and better than ever. Hey, I took yesterday off. It's okay. I had to attend to a family issue, but we are back better than ever, and let's go. My name's Jared, and pretty much what we try to do here is post daily sports betting content where we exploit odds for that sweet, sweet profitability. If you are into something like that, consider hitting that red subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and let's get it in it all right guys sgd nation baby hey come join the discord the sgd nation discord link is in the description come be part of the team it's free we have i think we actually have 1200 members i need to update that graphic i guess i need to check to see how many members we have but we have a lot and a lot of free freaking information in there we got picks plays parlays and that sweet, sweet information you're looking for. So come be a part of the winning team. All right, sgdwins.com. That's where you can find the premium selections that you can get from Joe and myself for the year. Since we've started the service, we are up $1,496. Now, um, I mean, guys, that's I mean, we've, we've started the service a little more than a month ago. So, uh, you know, we had a kick-ass July. Uh, we took a, we've taken a, a little bit of a beating here in August, but we're still up uh, on the on the, the I guess the the lifetime part of the premium selection. So if you want to be part of it, come be a part of it. SGDwins.com. If you buy a day pass and we don't give you a winning day, the next day is free. Yesterday we had 16 people buy the day pass and we gave you two premium selections. We went one and one, even though you made a little, a little bit of money because we had a, um, a plus money dog in the mix there that won. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and give you go give you those plays for free today because hey, one and one is not the bar. That's not technically we gave you a winning day, but that's not what Joe and I are about. We're giving you today for free. Let's freaking go! Click the link. Or type it in your browser, sgdwins.com. All right, we got the Cubbies taking on the Phillies. And we're going to talk about that here. We're going to get into the free pick of the day. We got lefty on lefty action. Who doesn't like a little lefty on lefty action? I mean, you know what I mean? So we got Quintana taking on Justin, uh, Jason Vargas. Jesus, Jason Vargas. Now, uh, guys. Uh, Quintana, he has been absolutely amazing lately. He's completely turned his season around. Uh, he, uh, last time out versus Oakland, seven innings pitched, seven strikeouts, zero, uh, zero walks, one run on two hits, completely dominant. Uh, I, I, I'm really liking how Quintana is really getting things together. And guys, he is 0-1 in his career versus the Phillies, 3.77 uh, career ERA versus the Phillies. Now, uh, in the, the the last seven starts that Quintana has pitched for the Cubbies, the Cubbies are seven and zero. Oh. Man, that's pretty solid. Uh, Quintana is six and zero oh in that stretch, uh, with a three point six seven yeah three point six seven ERA in that span. Now Vargas, this guy has never lost to the Cubbies. Uh, uh, it's crazy, right? Um, yeah. He's never lost to the Cubbies. He's 3-0, 3.95 ERA. Uh, last time out versus the Cubbies, though, he gave up four runs on four hits in four and two-thirds innings. Whew. So we got a good matchup here, guys. And there should be there, there might be some rain in the forecast. So, uh, you know, this might actually be a fairly low-scoring game. Let's see here. Cubbies. Let's look at the bullpen. Let's say this game gets close. Who's got the advantage? The Cubbies have the advantage. Cubbies. Eighth in the league in ERA. Eighth in the league in batting average against on their bullpen. Philly, 23rd in ERA, bullpen ERA, and 27th in batting average against. Not good if you're you know, a contending team for playoffs. And the Phillies, I've been saying it for a while now, are the most underachieving, underperforming team in the league. They are so frustrating. Every time I bet the Phillies, you know, they just let me down uh, over and over and over again. Now... The Cubbies, this is the one spot that you have to worry about here. The Cubbies are an awful versus left-handed batters, uh, or I'm sorry, left-handed uh, pitching. 27th in the league. Uh, that's not good in batting average for uh, the lefties. So for the Cubbies, and but they are 17th in the league in OPS, 
Phillies versus lefties, they're a little better. 17th in average, 15th in OPS. Now, Javier Baez for the Cubbies. I mean, one of the, the he's leading a lot of a lot of uh, stats here for the Cubs. He's got 28 home runs, 80 ribbies, but he's been ice cold lately. Uh, his last three games, he's one in ten. So hopefully, yesterday's uh, day off, he will be able to reset and really start mashing that ball again versus Vargas. Now Hoskins, he's got 24 home runs in his own right. Bryce Harper, 80 ribbies uh, for the year. So, hey, should be a good matchup here, guys. But all in all, I'm liking the Cubbies on the road here to get the job done. Uh, they they got to start piling up some road wins here. And, uh, you know, I, that, that's where I'm at. So, I, I took the Cubbies plus, or I'm sorry, minus 130. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and check the lineup here. Yep, it's, it's actually minus 135 now, guys. So, uh, you know, there's definitely some money starting to trickle in on the Cubs. So if you want this, come and get it. Hey, guys, thank you, everybody, to sent all the awesome messages to me yesterday. I tried to reply to all of them. I had like 25 text messages from you guys, and I definitely responded to each and every one of you guys. Uh, so thank you, everybody that gave me the well wishes for the people that know what's going on uh, with family. Thank you, Joe, for shouting me out yesterday and, you know, give me the well wishes. And I appreciate everybody that went over there and commented on his video as well. Hey, it's a good thing I had yesterday off. Uh, I think I would have gave out the Rockies. So that would have been a loser. So, but here we are. Uh, w the video streak is still in play, baby. Let's go, Cubbies. Let's go, Cubbies. Let's go. Also, I kind of like the Kansas City Royals, guys. I actually placed a bet on them. Plus 205 Kansas City Royals over the Cardinals. Cardinals have been playing like crap. Uh... Now, the Royals used to be the best, worst team in the league. Now, that that goes to the Blue Jays. But uh, Royals are still decent in their own right when it comes to bad teams. They're playing a team like uh, San, or St. Louis that has just been awful. Just been awful lately. So, I think plus 205 is a mistake. Kansas City's at home. Uh, you got uh, Flaherty, Flaherty uh, on the mound, which pitched really well his last time out. Man, I see that that, in my opinion, that's uh, way above expectation. So, give me uh, give me the Royals. Not as an official video play, but as a personal play, uh, it's more of a value play on my end. Uh, if you, some of you guys remember the the systems I run, I still run the systems on uh, you know personally, and that one definitely comes up as assistant play so all right guys uh that'll do it for today's episode make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button baby good luck to you good luck to me good luck to them cubbies baby and i'll see you guys in the discord i'll holla at y'all later i don't know why i'm doing three i was going to do this peace